Hey everyone, this is Michelle from Beijing Ventures, and you're listening to the Beijing Daily Podcast. Today is our weekly show, Beijing Talk. We're talking about the newest blockchain, Aptos and Sui, with Jermaine and Henry from Beijing Research Team. Okay, so I'm sure everyone active on crypto Twitter have noticed the two newest L1 blockchain on the market, Sui and Aptos. So today I am Jamin, and today we have、uh, Henry joining us in this short discussion. We're both part of the investment and research team at、um, Beijing Ventures. Let's see. So maybe Henry, can you give us some background about Sui and Aptos? Yeah, sure. So Sui and Aptos, they are both like high throughput L ones, but they the main difference is that they use like a new programming language move. They are running their own virtual machine,、uh, so they are very different away from like the EVM that we know. So both teams from Aptos and Sui by Mister Labs, they share a very deep history with the X Meta project EVM, and I think recently they attracted very large investments from very well known investors in the space. So I think Aptos raised somewhere like three hundred and fifty million between,、uh, I think over two rounds from A sixteen Z from FTX Ventures, Jump Crypto, Multi Coin. And I think Sui is reportedly raising somewhere around two hundred million with FTX and just leaving. So I don't think the Sui's round is actually closed yet. But yeah, these two chains are then yeah, it's kind of the background behind them. Yeah. So with a lot of、uh, capital pouring to these L ones, you know,、um, naturally there's a lot of attention on them. So I mean, in in the current landscape, there's already so many L ones. You know, in the current ecosystem, so I'm sure the question on everybody's mind is that you know why is there a need for a Sui or Aptos? Yeah,、um, yeah. On this point itself, I think we are actually still so early in this like smart contract space within crypto, right? So I don't think there's a clear winner even today. And I, I do think that when we do eventually achieve mass adoption, the space will be kind of more like a multi-chain world. So I believe that. Your Solanas, your Ethereum's, your Aptos Suites—they can all coexist together.、Um, but I think Suites and Aptos are actually quite different from the blockchains that we are used to. So most of them are, are you, you know, like Avalanche. They are all like EVM based.、Uh, whereas like Solana, they take the path to build their own EVM and their own using Rust as their programming language. Aptos and Suites is kind of like taking this same path, like what Solidity and EVM did. So they are building their own programming language, their own virtual machine, which is a very very large undertaking.、Uh, I think Move as a programming language is actually really interesting. So what they do is that they try to build a framework for developers to build applications safely, quickly, easily.、Uh, it also comes with this like prover verification tool whereby developers can then check for correct execution of their code within about like thirty seconds. Which I think eventually the largest like beneficiary is the end user. So you probably see less instances of like、uh, contract re-entrancing errors where by like people lose their money through like spoof contracts, spoof token approvals, so and so. So I think also with these two L L one chains with their background from like Meta, I I think that maybe we'll see more consumer facing applications. I think time will tell, but these two chains will be actually bootstrapping a whole new developer ecosystem, which hopefully brings about more innovation in this space. Yeah, that's actually quite you know exciting for for the industry as a whole.、Uh, but that also brings me to the next question, right? So, what are some differences, you know, in your opinion between Sui and Aptos? Uh, I think based on what I've read so far from their docs itself, I think I can find like maybe three distinct differences. I think one of it is the way that they go about uh with the parallel execution of transactions, which is kind of what leads to the high throughput of both chains, right? So I think Sui can do somewhere like hundred and thirty thousand transactions per second. I think Aptos somewhere hundred and sixty thousand theoretically.、Um, so I think in Sui's design,、uh, what happens is that the dependencies for transactions are kind of like declared upfront. So what Sui does then is that they apply this like multi-lane approach for transaction validation, where simple transactions can go through. Uh, the Byzantine consistent broadcast, which is kind of like foregoing the traditional consensus that we know, so transactions get approved much faster. So think about when you do like simple transfers of like、uh, sending money from one person to the other. All all these don't have to go through the the complex BFT that we are used to. So on more complex transactions, whereby you're involving uh shared objects, whereby 
they kind of touch the same state or there's some form of conflicts between them. These will still be ordered through like uh, Sui's own like BFT consensus. Uh, in the difference, what, what Aptos does is that rather than declaring dependencies upfront, they kind of think that that kind of severely limits the way that transactions are being designed in the system whereby sometimes you have to break it up or you have to make it simpler or sometimes transactions might, might, might just get dropped. So what Aptos does is that they use a really interesting technique by using a soft, uh, by using a technique called block STM. So what it does is that it tries to detect access conflicts within a set of transactions. So from the user's perspective or from the developer's perspective, there's really nothing else you need to do uh, other than sending a transaction. So these transactions are executed optimistically and the validation will be done after. So if validation is unsuccessful, the, tr the transaction will be re-executed and then all the associated transactions will have to be revalidated before they eventually get committed to the blockchain. So that's the first like difference, I like, clear difference that I see in terms of like parallel execution. So the other part of it, it's actually in the programming language move. So Sui actually make a deviation from core move, uh, mainly on the global storage operator and key abilities. So what this means is that Sui is actually optimizing for storage and basically helps Sui to drive and improve network performance. So I think this actually makes Sui slightly less interoperable with other move VMs because they can't call the, the global storage uh, operator in this case. Uh, in Apple's case, they retain most of core move, but they kind of like added, uh, basically added the ability to, to integrate with block STM, which helps with the parallel execution of the blockchain. So that's kind of like one change or one difference between the two in terms of like how move is being used. Um, I guess the last one is more, uh, more on the traction. So Atos itself, I think is way ahead. So they have, I think they've raised more money than, than Sui as well. And I think they are already on to phase two of like a four phase test net. And I think they should be launching their mainnet sometime in Q3 this year. Uh, I think there's about more than 1,500 forks on the Aptos core repository and somewhere like 100 projects they are looking to deploy on mainnet. Uh, I think many applications across DeFi, uh, across NFTs, across uh, lending protocols, they are all, I think, you know, there are many projects they are looking to, to be on Aptos right now. So, in contrast, Sui is kind of just starting on its testnet. Uh, based on the projects they are actually building on it, I've only seen two wallets announced, one by the team itself, Sui Wallet, and another one is an Ethos Wallet, which is like a third party wallet that's being built on Sui right now. So, yeah, I guess that's kind of like the key differences that I see so far. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess, you know, um, although they share a lot of sim similarities, you know, there are a lot of um, obvious differences between them, as uh, Henry just mentioned. And I guess only time will tell, you know, how they will perform in, in, in the market and in, in the industry. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Anything else to add? Yeah, and I guess like internally, we have been diving quite deep into both chains and we hope to release our findings in a series of like medium articles soon. Yeah, so hopefully you'll be able to share more and, and shed more light on both blockchains like through those articles. So yeah, hope you guys keep in touch and follow what we have been doing. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so yeah, so that's all we have for today and I uh, hope you learn a bit more about Sui and Aptos and yeah, uh, till next time. Thanks everyone.